What is going on ladies and gentlemen, Monkey Flop here and today we're going to be going over new on PS4 this week. Today we're going to do it a little bit different and we're going to kind of remix it so I hope you guys like it. If you do, let me know in the comment section below. Kicking it off for the PlayStation Plus news, we got news coming out. If you are a PlayStation Plus subscriber, a new subscriber that is, uh, then you could get Star Wars Battlefront for free. For free, you said. Indeed, I said for free. A lot of you guys are probably wondering, how do I get this Star Wars Battlefront, the Ultimate Edition, that is, for free? And I'm going to tell you, first, you need to be a brand new PlayStation Plus subscriber. This is uh, an incentive for people to get PlayStation Plus, okay? Uh, it is the Ultimate Edition, so that's cool, but you have to subscribe to PlayStation Plus as a new PlayStation Plus member for an entire year. So that's 60 bucks unless you get lucky and check the link in the video description below. We got some uh, PlayStation Pluses for a little bit cheaper at times. So just throwing that out there, but I also wanted to give you guys a big heads up in case you guys wanted to take advantage of the Star Wars Battlefront. I love Boba Fett. Okay, so next up on the list, we are actually gonna be talking about FIFA 17. That's where you guys heard me correctly and you guys like free, right? Well, guess what? FIFA 17 is free for the entire weekend starting today and it's gonna go all the way until Monday. So that's fan freaking tastic. If you guys are gonna jump on FIFA 17, and give it a shot, give it a go, then let me know in the comment section below. All right guys, so next up on the list that I'm actually really excited for is, oh my gosh, I saw the picture of the God of War uh, ad that they put up in LA and I'm driving home and I'm thinking to myself, man, I gotta see it for myself. So I actually did and I took a picture of it and tweeted it out, check it out. Now, I do believe that, you know, Sony's gonna be doing it big. We saw the PlayStation, uh, you know, show floor for E3 plans 2017 and it's massive. I mean, take a look right now on the screen. Sony has the biggest space next to Nintendo. Um, and then everybody else has little itty bitty spaces <laughs> compared to the massive PlayStation and then the massive Nintendo um, side by side. It, it's just, somebody said that it was like about 43,000 square feet for uh, Sony and then like 35 for Nintendo, which is massive. Uh, but I really believe that Sony is going to have a big presence this year. I mean, duh, they are. But the fact that, you know, they're already putting up uh, banners, they're already putting up posters, they're, they're already having people paint freaking murals, like freaking 100 feet foot tall. I can't even speak. It's just awesome. So God of War, I'm definitely going to be looking forward to for E3. And then also, the, I know they're going to have a big presence as far as VR goes. And I bet your bottom dollar that about maybe 30% of that show floor is going to be showcasing VR and having lines for VR and having booths for VR and testing out different games and different things like that. I mean, last year, the biggest thing was the Batman VR. Everybody got to get their hands on the Batman VR. Now this year, we'll have to wait and see, you know, what Sony brings to the table as far as VR goes, because you guys know they're going to push it, whether you like it or not they're gonna push the VR. I think it's pretty cool. Okay, so now let's go ahead and get right into new on PS4. Let's go ahead and check out what games got released this week. Uh, I love Tekken. I'm so excited for Tekken to be released. I still haven't gotten my hands on it yet, but you bet I'm going to really, really soon. All right, so let's go ahead and check out the rest of new on PS4. Now, first things first, we gotta go to free to play because this game actually got released on Tuesday but they didn't put it into the free to play section and I totally missed it and you guys called me on it. But if you guys haven't already seen it or you know, haven't given it a shot, give it a go, then I definitely recommend you doing so. Cross Out is free now on the PlayStation Network Store for the PlayStation 4. Let's go ahead and check out the rest of the game. So I always like to go to new games and then I always like to go to sort and newest first is the best way to go in my opinion we got some uh you know pre-orders available i don't know if any of you guys pre-order but we got cars if you got kids that's probably cool uh, like a 10 year old of four you know how do you how early do you get your kids started i don't know 
Uh, we got wipe out the Omega collection, which is uh, really exciting for me because I really liked wipe out and the fact that it's coming is pretty cool. Friday the 13th game is also available. It's been available since Friday and oh my Tekken 7 bro Tekken 7 I'm so excited for this I get to play it at E3 I haven't gotten my hands on it yet but I guarantee you I will before the weekend ends and I'm gonna be playing Tekken 7 <laughs> I'm excited it Tekken runs in the blood because it's PlayStation baby uh, Tekken has always been PlayStation and that's really exciting that you know they, they, they keep it coming. We're on Tekken 7 now. What's up? Uh, Cross Out, like I said, is a free-to-play game that's available now, though, which is pretty cool, in my opinion. Uh, Dead or Alive 5, dude, don't waste your money on any bundles. Go and play the free version first. If you like it, you dig it, then, you know, you do what you do. NBA 2K17 is available with a bundle for WWE 2K17 as well. What I always recommend is this these games get released every year and they release one year in advance so in a couple of months we're gonna see NBA 2k 18 and then we're gonna see WWE 2k 18 as well so when that happens these games will be discounted amazingly cheap so keep that in mind before you go and spend your money on this uh, but if you're itching to play it by all means buy it now I would just say wait until the newer ones get released and then you buy the the older versions or you, you you know you get the new version you get the bright and shiny new one but if you got money to throw around throw at the screen and put it on your backlog of games and i mean sony's willing to always take your money but I, I like to give you my own advice uh rockstar games ps2 bundle classic you get five games for 44.99 if you think about that that's actually less than um uh, $10 per game and $10 per game is usually what they go for uh, so keep that in mind that's actually pretty cool some of the games actually go for like 12 bucks some of them go for 15 so that's actually pretty decent ladies and gentlemen that's actually going to wrap it up for the PlayStation 4 new on PS4 let me know what you guys think about it in the comment section below let me know what you guys think about Tekken 7 I'm super hyped about it I'm I apologize but I'm, I'm not sorry uh, I'm really really excited about Tekken 7 and then uh, did you guys see this theme that we got going on if you guys saw yesterday's video then you would have seen it if you didn't I definitely recommend giving it a you know look at it will be here at the end of the video and I'll see you guys in the next news update <laughs> you guys are freaking awesome